Thank you, and welcome to another edition of the Sustainable Scoop. Today I have the pleasure of interviewing Audrey Clement. She is a third time potential candidate for the Arlington County Board. Uh, Audrey, thanks for joining me. Uh, actually, um, I'm very happy to he be here, um, Miriam, but actually I'm the f this is my fourth run for county board because I ran twice in 2012, once for a special election and the, and the second time for a regular election. I stand corrected. And well, congratulations for that effort. Um, certainly, you are well known in Arlington uh, for your efforts um, running on the county board, but you're also known throughout the state with the, the state and uh, National Green Party. Tell me a little bit about that. Yes, I wear several Green Party hats. First, I'm treasurer of the local Arlington Green Party. Secondly, I'm one of the co-chairs of the Green Party of Virginia. And thirdly, I served on the steering committee of the National Green Party for a year in 2011 and 12, and I still serve on some of the National Party committees. Well, not only are you a candidate, but you're also a hard worker for the party, making sure that a lot of issues that would otherwise be in ignored are recognized. And, and one thing that we know you're, you're very good at is getting things on the ballot. And something that's going to be on the ballot, in addition to your name this upcoming November, is the housing referendum. Can you tell me a little bit about why the Green Party is so motivated to see um, a housing authority created in Arlington? Yes, since 2000, the year 2000, Arlington has lost two-thirds of its affordable housing, and I think that's an underestimate. And what the clearest evidence that the Arlington's uh, subsidized housing program, as it's presently constituted, is not working, is all the publicity around the new Arlington Mill Community Center, which just opened up with some adjacent housing units, 100, 122 to be exact. 122 affordable housing units. Yes, now, one of the problems with that is that there is a waiting list of no less than 3,600 people applied to get into those 122 units. Also, the Virginia Tech um, Housing Research Facility has determined that no less than 14,000 households in Arlington County cannot afford the rent that they're paying. Well, Jay Fazette sat in that seat um, about a week ago, and he said that Arlingtonians are really a victim of our own success. Um, one of the reasons that the cost of housing is so high is because people want to live here. So how would you combat that if uh, you were on the county board? Well, there is, I certainly wouldn't dispute that Arlington is the victim of his own success, but that doesn't mean that it, it should allow itself to continue to be victimized. Arlington should take steps to increase the amount of affordable housing. And one of the ways to do that is to provide a housing authority that would have separate bonding authority so that it could leverage more funds to purchase subsidized housing uh, or to purchase affordable housing. It, could also, it would also qualify for grants and loans and certain tax credits that it's currently not eligible for. Now, county board argues uh, against that or counters that by saying, well, there is no money in the federal government right now. Well, that's what they said in 2008. In 2009, with the American Reinvestment and Recovery Act, certain billions of dollars were made available for affordable housing, but Arlington didn't qualify. Well, so now let me understand. If 14,000 people are in need of affordable housing here in Arlington, why aren't there tons of volunteers coming out to support your campaign? Well, a lot of the people who need these affordable housing units are people who are working two jobs. So they couldn't volunteer if they wanted to. In fact, I believe uh, Patricia Sullivan, who wrote the recent Washington Post story on the new Arlington Mill Center, quoted people uh, who work at least two jobs. In fact, I think she quoted one woman who works two jobs and her husband works two jobs and they simply cannot afford their $1,600 a month apartment on Columbia Pike. Well, $1,600 a month is less actually right now 
than the median rent on a one-bedroom apartment in Arlington County. So your focus is not just winning this election, but it's all, and of course I know you do hope to win, but uh, it's also about drawing attention to these issues. And, and one thing that's always been true is that the Green Party's rep represented environmental stewardship. And I think Jay Fazette has been a strong advocate of the environment. So how do you separate yourself on those particular issues? Well, Jay Fazette, talks a good game. He pay, plays lip service to environmental issues. Uh, he supports, for example, the community energy plan, as does the Green Party. What he doesn't seem to uh, appreciate is that that particular plan uh, upon which he establishes or established his environmental credentials is not worth the paper it's written on until it gets the buy-in of Dominion Virginia power. Okay, and just today I read an article in the Huffington Post that shows where Dominion Virginia Power really falls. It just won a major auction to, on a lease on, um, off, on an offshore windmill or a wind lease uh, in the Atlantic Ocean, okay, uh, for some incredible amount of money. Right, but, but that, those, those types of things are big news that, that, that's kind of out of the hands of Arlington. No, but I'm trying to show you that wh where, where Dominion really is. Well, Dominion is not going to develop that wind power. It simply purchased the lease so that other buyers couldn't have it. Oh, fine. Dominion power aside, here in Arlington, you and Jay Fazette are going to go toe-to-toe -to -toe yeah. on environmental issues as well as, um, uh, well, I would say social issues. So if people wanted to find out more information, yeah. they could go to your website sure. at AudreyClement.com or AudreyClement.org. That's correct. And I want to thank you so much for being with us today. I wish we had more time. I want to thank you for watching The Sustainable Scoop. I'm Miriam Chinari. Back to you at the